Hello everyone and welcome to Upal IPTV. The topic of today's video is the login screen error. So a lot of time customers ask us, oh, I'm seeing a login screen. Why I'm seeing it? How do I fix it? So there are a couple of reasons why you could be seeing the login screen. So today I will demo one of that scenario and I'll speak to the second one. So let's go here. I have the STBMU application here. So as I open up the application, as you can see, uh, there is this authentication screen that we see here asking for login and password. So sometimes you might reach out to your IPTV provider, uh, letting him know, hey, listen, I'm seeing a, a login screen. What do I do? So this is STB emulator application. So I'm going to talk about specifically STB emulator in this video. I will cover the Mac box and the other boxes if you're seeing an error message for those boxes. But today's uh, video is just focused on the STB emulator. So if you open up STB emulator on your Android TV or any other Android box you're using, Fire Stick or anywhere you are using STB emulator and you see a login screen, there are two things you need to do. First thing is um, that you need to make sure that you have an active subscription. So when you do not have an active subscription, you might see a login screen and sometimes it, at the bottom it will show you that your subscription has expired other times it might not show you but seeing a login screen is basically trying to tell you that your subscription is expired or it has been not activated or deactivated from the IPTV provider side so you do need to make sure that um, that that's not the case and your subscription is active but before you do that before you even contact your iptv provider there is something that you can do yourself to make sure there is nothing wrong on your end uh, before you reach out to your provider so if you know that your subscription should be fine and it should be active then what you need to do is when you see this login screen and you load up uh, when you load up the stb emulator so you need to press anywhere or press the OK button to get you this menu kind of thing that has these three little dots that brings up the settings menu. So sometimes uh, for different boxes, this settings menu pop up by pressing OK button, a long pressing OK button. Some For some boxes, it shows up when you uh, press the enter button. Uh, for some devices, like I'm using it on the phone, it just shows up if I just click anywhere on the screen and this menu uh, shows up on the right side. So um, you need to get this menu. Uh, that's the first thing uh, if you see the login screen. And on this menu, as you can see, there are so many options, setting, aspect ratio, keyboard, RC, profile, etc. cetera. So you, what you need to do is to make sure go to profile. And in profile, now I have a lot of many profiles configured here, but um, in a in a regular environment, you will only see one profile or two profiles, depending upon how many profiles you have configured. So usually it's one max two uh, for most of the customers. So uh, for one active subscription, you could have one profile. Let's put it this way. So when you go and click on profile, you must only see one profile here. But because I'm using um, uh, an admin kind of uh, privilege here so I have a lot of profiles that I have configured to test out different packages and stuff so uh, here you need to make sure that if you have more than one profile um, then you make sure you go and select the right profile but if you have only one profile then you will only see that profile and by default it will show up like this one new profile number random number unless you have given it a name like what I have done in some other cases here but this is manually you can change it by going into the settings which we will cover in some other video so what do you need to do going back you bring this menu up and then you go to profile and then you select the right profile in this mm -hmm. case is this one and you wait for it so now the screen has gone dark that basically means that it will load up now so you don't see the login screen anymore so that basically covers if you have an active subscription and everything is well. So before even you contact your IPTV provider, if you're seeing a login screen, just click anywhere 
or press long press ok button to bring up the settings menu and then from this settings menu go to profile and select the right profile and that should solve the login screen issue on your stb emulator application now if you're using a mag box or if you're using smart stb app you might want to restart your devices or your tv to fix the login screen issue if you're again if your subscription is active now if doing this what i just showed you here does not solve this issue then you have to contact your provider and let them know that uh, you have uh, tried restarting the device uh, and if you're using stb emulator you have tried resetting the profile but still uh, the login screen is not going away then there is definitely something wrong on um, the IPTB provider side uh, that they need to fix and help you out with the login screen however if everything is okay on their end and as I said before you reach them make sure you do this small uh, kind of uh, fix by yourself um, by just going to the settings and selecting the profile mm -hmm. uh, and if you do that then uh, most mm -hmm. likely it should solve the issue if your subscription is active so that's all for today thank you if you have any further questions about what is stb emulator how does it work there are other videos on this channel uh, please like and subscribe and watch out those videos uh, there are videos about how to install stb emulator how to configure stb emulator how to get a free trial for iptv on stb emulator and what kind of devices it support so there are other videos you can check out for that if you're interested in knowing how to set up iptv on your samsung and lg tv there are videos for that as well you can check out our smart stb setup videos for that if you have fire stick that you want to use for accessing iptv you can use similar instructions for STB emulator or reach us via email or comment below and we will send you the instructions on how to uh, set up your Fire Stick or any other Android device to access IPTV on that. So yeah, there's a bunch of videos. Check those out. Um, let us know if you face any other errors, any other kind of issues while watching IPTV and we'll try to help you out with that, give you a direction on how to resolve those issues. Uh, so please like and subscribe uh, the channel, uh, share our videos and then uh, please comment and let us know what are some of the things that you would like us to make the videos in future for. So thank you.